It's something a little different. Um, I I commented on a couple of, or I was talking about in a couple of my previous videos about how I do stained glass, and uh, I just got a commission yesterday for a window. It's um it's for a window by a an entry door, like a like the house, you know, the front door to a house. So I was down here in my shop uh, organizing some stuff, and uh, I figure I'd just talk you guys through the process. Because a couple of you have expressed an interest, and this is something I've been into for a couple of years, so why not? Um, it all starts off with a conversation, and I have a, I have an example, like a step-by-step -step process here. Um, but the commission I got yesterday, the lady was really vague. She just said she wanted a lot of red um, and maybe some clear. That was it. There was no. She wanted something kind of abstract. Yeah, I'm not really much of an abstract kind of guy. I'm I'm more like detail oriented. I'm it's all it's an absolute. It's not a this could be a whatever. It's a this is clearly a what have you. But anyway, so the whole process starts with a conversation. Um, I got a I made a life size copy like a a pattern of the window space on this. Uh, it's right here. You can't see it, but it's five and a half foot long almost. It's only probably six inches wide, maybe five and a half. Let me see. Yeah, it's almost five and a half inches wide. So working at me a little bit over five after you put in the edges. That's regardless. So I came up with a pattern. Um, a life size pattern that got okayed so now I just need to get a photocopy of this I can go to like uh, Office Depot and they'll do that and then uh, they'll also put it on the flash drive for me I can use the flash drive picture to do like a color study and then that gets approved and then you go through and you I hand cut all these pieces individually um, and that's that's cool that's probably my favorite part and this is all going to be curved so that's going to be easy this won't take very long at all uh, this is going to be 66 pieces um, let me see if I can maybe I don't know can you guys see it it's kind of just like some random geometric not this this is something else but yeah it just keeps going and going and going and going and going so yeah um, so yeah, this is just an example of the process because this is a piece I actually have. There's a fly in here. Uh, this was a gift for, I did this for my girlfriend last year for Christmas. Uh, she's a big Harry Potter fan and they play the game on the brooms where they have the, was it the snitch, the golden the, with the wings, I don't know. So start with the sketch and then I kind of refine the sketch. So this would be a life-size drawing. And then I go through and I number all of the individual pieces just to keep it easier to uh, keep it organized so I know where everything goes. And then you end up with this. So, yeah. Hi. Um, she really liked it. I patinaed this in copper. It turned out pretty cool. Got a little hook on it so she can hang it wherever she wants to. It's on her bookcase right now with the rest of her Harry Potter stuff. But yeah, so this is uh this is what I'll here. I'll go a little bit more in depth. I have like my glass up here. Uh, some of this is kind of cool. I got my greens and my yellows. Some of my cooler art glass. I'm not sure if you can see it. It's kind of neat. And then all my reds, which I will no doubt use. This is kind of cool. You don't come across a lot of this. It's just flat black, black glass. You know, really who knew? And then I have some more up here, some greens, and this is really cool, like uh, sycamore leaf print. Like a, this looks like wood. I use a lot of that for trees and that kind of thing. More black, some blue. So yeah. Um. This is a short video.
kind of wanted to show off. I'll grab this. But this is... This, this is a... Um, These are just like, uh, this was part of my passion project. This is going to be the border of the piece. Um, this isn't to scale, but this was just kind of laid out. To lay it out, this would be like to scale. You have like a lotus blossom. Um, it's a picture of Ganesh. This window was going to go in my bedroom. It's uh, 34 by 43 and a half inches. So it's a big piece. But... I, uh, I do smaller pieces and then use the profits from that to pay the, for the glass for my, my larger passion projects. That's kind of the design I was going for for my window ultimately. So yeah, there's that. This is, uh, this is a lot of what I do when I'm not at work or the comic shop or making YouTube videos. I spend a lot of time down here. So... Um, Thanks for watching. You guys have a nice day.